Hi everybody, Eric Brandon with Bob Hughes Boats, with Brian Weiborg and Bob Hughes, obviously. I've been waiting so long, Brian, on this ingenious 25 model to come out. We've got one to show today. I can't wait to hear about it. What's this baby got? Well, let me start up in the bow, Eric. So on our new 25, we have our shoot through the hull windless system. No more clutter on top of the deck. Controls up here as well as storage for your uh, windless wrench. Mm -hmm. We have all of our uh, forward compartments, all are on paddle latches, makes it real easy. You don't have to remove the cushions to get into them. We have our filler cushion as well as turns into a tabletop, forward facing backrest, in deck floor storage, as well as the famous Robalo forward entry head. I got a question for you. I'm catching mahi, I'm catching wahoo, I'm catching a bunch of fish offshore. Fish boxes, both sides. Fish. Insulated. Insulated fish boxes, as well as we have two in the deck in the back of the boat as well. So Brian, on a Duke 25, I see things from the 23 to the 27. It's in between, right? For example, this amazing three-pane glass enclosure reminds me of the 27. Flow through ventilation, really a great option in this 25. It is. It makes you feel like you're enclosed without being enclosed. Exactly. Yeah, I love that feature. Keeps you dry, right? Yep. It's amazing. Makes the boat look great. And boy, I tell you one thing, I can't wait to run this thing later on with that. <laughs> Now, Eric, one thing you'll notice on this boat is your undergunnel rod storage is midship mm -hmm. versus the traditional back of the boat. Okay. And they do that so that they can actually accommodate a narrower gunnel in the stern of the boat to give you a wider cockpit aft. In addition to your side entry door that opens and takes up no extra cockpit space. You still have access to your fish box in the floor and it does not get in the way of your aft seat. One thing you'll notice on this side door, Eric, mm -hmm. is how there's an actual lip built into the outside of the mold. Okay. So that when the door is closed, you get a nice seal where water's not rushing in like a traditional side door. What a great feature. Absolutely. It's also one piece, so you don't have any lids to flip open. One piece door, seal built in. Now, Brian, we're in the fun zone of this boat, the console area. I'm looking at so many bells and whistles. What's on this baby? So this boat came equipped with the twin Simrad NSS 12s, and we have the 1KW chirp transducer, mm -hmm. as well as our VHF and our electronics box. Okay. This boat is equipped with the upgraded JL Audio stereo. Mm -hmm. And one thing that Robalo did, they saw a need for more speakers on their boats and they listened to the people. They integrated speakers into their hardtop now. A lot of boom boom in this boat. Absolutely, king Two. of the sandbar. Twin screens, by the fish, GPS plotter, easy to use gauges by the way. It, it fly by wire controls. You can't be more spoiled than this I don't think. No, no, <laughs> even let you charge your phone wirelessly. Brian Ravallo is so well known for these seats. I mean, these are just plush, comfortable seats that anybody, big, tall or small, can sit in and drive this boat. Absolutely. And one really cool new feature that they just came out with is their new flip down backrest. Mm -hmm. So if you're entertaining. Oh, how cool. Yeah. yeah. You can sit here and still have your conversation with your people in your aft seat. Oh, this is nice, man. Oh, this is comfy, buddy. Yeah. A little rod action going on. One thing to take notice of, Eric, is mm -hmm. how beefy and how stout this hardware, stainless oh, yeah. steel hardware of the seat is. Nice, comfortable seat, real easy to access. Super comfortable as a Robalo DNA. Now, Brian, a great seat, obviously, here, but off the back of the boat, come on, we have cup holders, live one on the corner, a great fishing platform or cruising area. This boat's got it all. It does. In addition, we also have six rod holders molded into the transom standard on the boat. You know, Brian, normally accessing your bilge area is like a Houdini act. It's usually small and cramped. Look how big this access area is. Yeah, I could fit in that one. You Not could. That I want to. <laughs> you could, man. <laughs> Working there, playing there, whatever. It's yep. big. It is big. That's right. You know, Brian, once again, you showed me so many amazing features on this Robalo 25. 
I guess I'm going to ask you right now. We have twin Yamaha 150s. This thing's going to scoot, right? Yep. Put your crank rope, man. Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. I'm ready. Man.